Welcome back. Uh, if you are new, welcome. Today we're going to do uh, a white pour over. Um, I've kind of switched gears now. I had fun with the black pour over and that was amazing. Um, and I'll probably go back to it at some point. I'm waiting for more paint. <sighs> Story of my life. But um, I have been working on a white recipe as well. Uh, kind of concurrently as I worked on the black one and I would go back and forth and get frustrated with both and get frustrated with one and move to the other one and then get frustrated with that and move back. And uh, after I finished the black one, I, I really started focusing on white and um, what you'll see today is shocking in my opinion, super cool, unexpected. I'll be honest, I don't know how I did it, um, <laughs> which is always the case, right? Um, I've done a lot of canvases with white. I've probably done 80 to 100 canvases. Um, <laughs> I'm looking down like at my art table right now. I have three, six, nine, 12, 13 on my table right now of just white and other stuff. Um, so, after all these tests, you guys, today's result is, I'm gonna have to figure out what happened, but it's awesome. It's really cool. I wanna reproduce it. I just, I'm gonna have to continue testing. Um, like the black recipe, this white one um, is probably gonna take a little longer to release for me to tell you how I did it because I'm kind of letting you into the creative process right now of this isn't an idea that's completely flushed out. This is changing all the time and my results are changing all the time and that's good. I mean, I want to finally get a result that's what I want, but um, I may end up with a couple different recipes actually with different kinds of results depending on what you want because today is completely different than what I've gotten any other day. Um, so that's the teaser for that. Um, but I also did want to let you guys in on this creative process because I, I feel like a lot of you are having frustrations with the black one. And, um, I want you to know that there's a learning curve. A lot of you are sending me pictures and saying, what am I doing wrong? And, and I, I don't know if it's what you're doing wrong per se. It's just, there is a learning curve with any acrylic pouring technique, you're not just gonna dump paint on the canvas and get a perfect result the first time. I mean, if if there is a technique like that, please put it in the comments because, you know, on days where I wanna win, <laughs> I'd like to go to that technique, please. So, um, it, you guys, this is just a tough thing and it takes practice and um, like I said on the black one, I probably did 50 canvases before I did the yellow one and, and posted it. So I'm gonna post these white ones um, to show you that it's not perfect from the start. And um, how many times that I do test and pour and test and pour and refine the recipe and pour and blah, 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 blah. So um, yeah. So in addition to that, I'm also excited because um, I can't ever do one thing at once. I, I have to have five things going on in my ADD head at the same time in order to make this interesting for me, <laughs> make it extremely complex for me. But um, now that I've almost got the white figured out, you guys have just opened up a whole, whole gamut of colors. You think pour overs were just for white and black? I've successfully gotten blue. I've successfully done silver metallic pour over. Um, there are lots of things coming. It's not just black and white. So um, I'm excited to show this, uh, 
this painting because it is a little different and uh, I'll keep working on this and trying to make it the best I can for everyone once I do release it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Okay, you guys, today is attempt 579,412 of trying to get a white base to work. Maybe not that much, but I feel like it has been. Okay, so on this test, I am going to do a couple different things. because I'm tired of doing things on little canvases and wasting so much paint and then coming to a big canvas, having it work completely differently. So maybe I'll just do three different tests on a big canvas. Might as well use all of it, right, you guys? So I guess, what I'm going to do is head that way first. May have been an excessive amount of white, but. but we'll see So I'm not going to lie, I've done maybe not 500,000 of these, like I said at the beginning, <laughs> but I've done a lot of these and um, I've never gotten this result. So, but this turned out very cool and entirely interesting. Just makes me want to test more. Um, so the thing that is just fantastic about this is, I don't know if you could see, but every single cell on this canvas has like an indented, like leopard spot. And it's so freaking cool. It is actually like indented on the canvas. So it's like three dimensional, which is, freaking amazing the way it looks dry um do I know how I did that stay tuned <laughs> um the answer is no you guys I mean again I am just testing a bunch of this you guys, I'm like a mad scientist. You have to know by now, if you watch my channel, I I can't sit and do the same thing over and over and over. And I am constantly trying to find new things. And sometimes new things find me, as in um, this. So, um, 
it may be these two colors combined. <laughs> um, I am not gonna lie. Did I do light brown and black and try to make a leopard painting? I did. And did it work? It did. Did it give these um, indentations? It did not. Hey guys, I actually went and got it because that was a teaser you didn't deserve to not be able to see. Um, so as I was looking at it, it actually did do it. Um, I guess I just didn't notice it on such a small canvas. It wasn't as like glaring um, as uh, this big one. Um, it needs to be more of a cream colored background to look more like a cheetah or a leopard though, right guys? I don't know. All right, so um, yeah, so it's definitely intriguing, definitely something I need to look into, definitely something I'm gonna keep testing. Um, this is very, very, very different from the black. Um, different look, different everything. And I, I, I think I'll probably share this recipe once I have it figured out. You guys, literally every single time I do this, I get a different result. With every color, I get a different result. So, um, I, I get a lot of cool things. Um, I mean, Tuesday's video has like a completely different look that was created from the same exact process. So I, I need to, to flush this out more um, because I think this paint is a little more volatile. Um, but it's kind of good news, I guess, for those of you who bought all those dark paints. Hey, we might have something to do with all of those now. Um, if you don't want to uh, lighten them with a, a titanium white and do a black pour over. So... Um, I will keep you posted. I am also working on metallics and other colors. I have gotten um, other colors to work as well, which is super exciting, you guys. It's not just black and white. Um, this opens the gamut to everything, to almost every color to do a pour over on and get the same result. Even um, I've gotten metallic silver to work. So um, stay tuned, you guys. Um, I will keep you posted and like the last one as soon as I figure this out and have something that I think is stable enough to release, uh, I will. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.